You will hold them above your head. <laughs> Yo! Those are the fucking Space Force canteens! Slash water bottles! The Yo, what's up? Welcome back, team. So, today, we're doing Coast Guard Boot Camp. I think it's going to be a good one. And I think a lot of you are going to get a lot more respect for Coast Guard as well. It's really not a bad branch. I know I give them a lot of shit, but they do a lot of great stuff. They're, they're like the go-to for like search and rescue and, and a whole handful of other things. So I, I actually have a lot of respect for Coast Guard. I really do. A lot of my family's Coast Guard. So yeah, let's get into this bitch. One, five, eight. One, five, seven. One, five, six. Oh, no. One, five, five. Oh, my God. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, he's getting after it, bro. They don't have a bad basic. It's not bad. It's not bad. I've actually heard a lot of shit that makes me respect it a lot more just because it's like waterborne and a lot of the instructors are actually really good. I mean, look at this motherfucker getting in his shit right now. <laughs> Big respect. And then this dude's yelling his fucking heart out. His heart is... <laughs> One five... <laughs> One five... One five... Yo. Hey, okay. Already? Already. Y'all can't see my hands clapping, but I am clapping. Way better video than the fucking Navy shit. Navy, fix your fucking boot camp videos. It'll make it a better recruiting technique. This is why so many people join the Coast Guard. I mean, some of it is probably because it's not a primary, you know, combat arms branch. You know, which attracts a lot of people because they just want to do good and help people out, which Coast Guard is definitely the branch to go do these things. But this shit looks great. If I was a kid and I saw this shit, I'd be like, man, the Coast Guard gets after it. Even this girl, she looks hard as fuck, dude. She she looks like she gets after it. Like, it looks like you do not want to fuck with her. Open your mouth, man. Keep going, don't try to stop. This is Ooh. Coast Guard Boot Camp. Alright, I'm loving this already, dude. I'm loving it. Yo, he's aggressive, Before and I love serve it. In the United States Coast Guard, all recruits Girl have to ceremony. graduate from the Coast Guard's eight-week basic training program. She will beat your ass, bro. Look at her! I love it, dude. I'm so excited to see these two instructors just get after it. It's not easy. There's a reason the program is designed the way it is. We have people from all walks of life that come here. It is a small portion of the youth of this nation that are at least attempting to raise their hand and do something Sheesh. bigger than themselves. Basic. No, no basic is easy. They hit the nail on the head. No matter what anybody says, you know, some basics are definitely fucking harder than the rest. But none of them are easy because you're a civilian, and I've said it before, and now you're going into the military, military mindset, and you have to embrace all that. It's very difficult. Training happens here at United States Coast Guard Training Center, Cape May, located at the southernmost point of New Jersey. Sharks. Before they get to Cape May, all incoming recruits report to the USO lounge at the Philadelphia airport. Why am I doing this? I don't know. It sounded like a good opportunity. My grandfather was in the Coast Guard. My mom's whole side of the family was in the Navy, but I didn't really feel like the Navy was my calling, and the Coast Guard felt right. I don't have a ton of money. Hey, real respect. Please don't join a branch just because someone else in your fucking family joined the military and you feel inclined that you have to do it too or else you feel way lesser. It ain't for everybody, okay? It is not fucking for everybody, let alone even more respect to the people who join the military but don't do the exact same branch as, you know, their mom, their dad, grandparents, whoever in their family did whatever the fuck. Um, and that's difficult to do because you'll have a lot of people in your family try and persuade you a, a certain direction. Like, if you know, you have army. Fam like, if your family's army... Like, oh, you got to join the army. It's the best branch. Da, da, da. Nah, it might not be for you, though. It might not fucking be for you. Or like, oh, I want to join the fucking the Coast Guard uh, but like my grandpa was. But then you give it a run and you're like, oh, this isn't for me. But then the army might be for you. So keep your mind open when you're going and talking to recruiters and like actually go talk to every single branch because you never really know. You don't know all the jobs that are out there until you really like get into the crevices of it and, and talk to a recruiter. So... Give all branches a shot. Don't just shit on them because of what you hear or because of what you see in my videos. 
Don't fucking portray the entire military off of my videos. Those are more like the stereotypical comedy, dark humor shit that we all deal with. But every, all branches are great at something. It's very, they're, they're great at specific things. So, yeah. I don't come from money, so I didn't really, uh, couldn't really afford school. So this kind of seemed like my only option to do this. Yeah, don't come for the money. Uh, you will be poor. A large amount of debt. So I'm we will clear your debt, though. About, um, honestly, just the yelling. Something you just don't get used to as a day-to-day -day life as a civilian. So. Yep. This is the last. Big facts. I was definitely, I was like ready for like the yelling and anticipating and all that shit, but I wasn't ready for like the fucking right here yelling. Like right in my, like, like fucking just. Like, holy fuck. Non stressful meaning you're gonna have for the next several weeks. It's a learning experience. Their teaching methods are just a tad different than what you're used to. Honestly, he's giving him like the nicest speech ever. He's like, it's not that bad. But you got to think when they went through anybody before you who went through it, it was way fucking harder. I promise she's like, it wasn't that bad. We only got the shit beat out of us fucking every other day. They beat our asses because back then you could do that shit. Now you can't. So now it's like, like when you're looking for strength, think about the old motherfucker who was talking to you before this and tried to give you some type of encouragement because they really went through the shit. And that's it, basic. Imagine what they actually did, like, during times of war. It was fucked. They're going to walk into a world that's very different for them. It's going to be very intense, so that when they go out into the fleet, stations, and cutters, that they're ready to help Damn. and ready to perform. The nice incoming hat, recruits enjoy what little downtime they have left. Get out of the hallway, let's go! Before they line up, head to the bus that would drive them to Cape May. I'm trying to get a look at all these people right now. You know what's funny? Looking at every single one of these fucking people, they all look like Coast Guard. They 100 fucking percent all look like Coast Guard. And it's nothing like against them. They just got Coast Guard faces. I maybe might see like, have seen like one Marine looking dude and like one Army looking dude, but... That's it. I don't see any Space Force Navy looking motherfuckers. What's the motto of the Coast Guard? I can't hear you! Get out of here! 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 Get out of I mean, they were straight off the bus, so they're going to end up going into reception, but hey, we didn't get yelled at. If I'm being dead-ass dead ass honest in the Army, we did not get yelled at straight off the bus. They're like, listen, you're going to go through that door. You're going to go to your left. You are going to sit in a file on the ground until we direct you where to sit. And I was like, oh, okay, this isn't that bad. It was just reception, though. They're definitely getting after him right off the bus. So, cool. Hurry up! Obviously, there's a shock and awe factor to it. Kind of everything goes haywire for a little bit. Damn. Get the fuck out of my shit! <laughs> Kids trying to open up the door and everything, too. Totally in the fucking way. While we do need to instill that little bit of fear and sense of urgency in them that evening. Is that dude wearing a Yu-Gi-Oh? Or not Yu-Gi-Oh, Dragon Ball Z outfit? Hold up. Hold up! Bit. We're gonna rewind it really quick. Oh my god. While we do need to instill that little bit of fear and Let's sense see. of urgency. Oh, he is! Right here, this fucking. I know you can see my mouse. Like, right here, this fucking kid. Right here, look at his, his shit. And sense of urgency. That's fucking Dragon Ball Z. Am I fucked up? Right? He's got the matching backpack, too. Coast Guard ready. Man. Do it now. Aye, aye. Okay. The first incarnation of the Coast Guard was born in 1790. Secretary of the oh. Treasury Alexander Hamilton lobbied Congress to construct a fleet of 10 large ships or cutters intended cutters. to enforce tariffs on vessels entering sailor looking ass motherfuckers. 15. The U.S. Revenue Cutter Service merged with the U.S. Life Saving Service to form what we know today as the United States Coast Guard. Since then, 
The Coast Guard has been involved in every major United States military conflict. I told y'all they do a lot of shit, okay? They've been involved with everything. They're just kind of on the sidelines for it. They're not really any, like, serious direct action force. And before y'all go, oh, but the guy in the fucking Coast Guard, that's on the submarine. Shut the fuck up. One fucking thing. Chill the fuck out. MSRT, dude. MSRT, dude. They, the Coast Guard has more than 40,000 men and women on active duty and over 30,000 more are serving in reserve and auxiliary capacities. And it hot. all begins Super hot. here. Oh, that's a lot of moving. Bootcamp itself, it, it, it is whatever you make it. You do what you're told, yes sir, no sir, aye aye sir, and it's as simple as that. Hey, whatever, what's his name? Mayo? Is that what it said? Is this dude's name Mayo? Told, yes sir, no sir, aye aye sir. Where the fuck did I get Mayo from? Victoria Nero. Listen to this fucking guy, because he's right. Do what, do what you're told, and then move on. And it's not that hard. It's as simple as that. First, the new recruits are issued uniforms. Next in line. Come on this way. And after a medical exam and standard vaccinations, the male recruits oh, here we go again. get free haircuts. As y'all can see... If you compare, you know, not the fucking Space Force one, but the Navy one to this, a lot of the processing and all that shit is the same. A lot of the shit you do amongst all the branches to get you out of that civilian mindset is all the fucking same. We all kind of do the same shit, but we all just have our own specialties. And you'll start to see that when I do more military shit, more reaction videos, um, the, the process to switch that mindset is all the same. Then... It's time for the initial physical fitness assessment, where the recruits have to do as many push-ups and sit-ups as they can. Damn, we definitely did not get a little block. So, like, for some of you who don't know, look at this. This is about to turn into a knowledge channel now. Y'all about to y'all about to learn some a knowledge channel. Um. So this little block right here, this is to show that they're going far enough down on their push-ups. Ah, Y'all might not be able to see that well, but there's this little block right here. It's to show that they're going down far enough on their push-ups. Hey, I think this might be the only fucking branch that does that shit because a lot of other branches, like at least for the Army and the Marine Corps, they don't give you that shit. You go down and you have to break the plane. So the plane right here is your chest or your back has to basically go. I'm trying to simplify it. So all you people in the military that are fucking... About to be on my ass for shit. Fuck off. Um, you got to break the plane is what we're calling it. So you got to go below that point. At least for this, all they got to do is have their chest touch this and then they can go up. Because if you go down and your chest doesn't touch this, the push-up doesn't count. So like in the other branches, like in the army, like they'll, they won't tell you. They won't count out loud some of the fucking, the counters. Like if they don't feel like, if they don't want to and they want to fuck with you, they won't tell you. And then you'll be like, how many push-ups did, did I do? And you think you you counted 60, whatever the fuck, like 67. And they're like, you did four, but don't be able, don't, but don't worry. You'll be able to retest. And you're like, four? Not every recruit passes oh on their first try, but they do get another chance. Oh God. I'm excited to see how this water training goes. I feel like that's when like everyone just really starts to drop. People really freak out in the water, dude. People really fucking lose their shit and just can't hang. Five minutes to finish this test. Most of you should finish in less than three minutes. All Coast Guard recruits have to pass a three-part swimming test. Okay. First, jumping into the pool from a... Damn, they're so nice now. And then processing, they were like, Ah! But then now they're like, Okay, get, uh, go ahead and get up. They're literally my fucking Coast Guard... Um, uh, go ahead up to the edge and on I say so you're gonna jump off into the water. <laughs> Six foot platform. Step off. Then a 100 meter swim. Oh my god, 100 <laughs> Last, they have to tread water for five minutes. The wa the Coast five minutes in the water? I mean, they're not wearing anything, so it's not that hard. If you're not a good swimmer, five minutes is a long time. But they should be doing it in like boots and utes. So like your full uniform, like swimming in the water, because that can get you too. The expert swimmers, remedial swimmers are allowed to wear flotation devices. Oh my fucking God. I'm out here giving Coast Guard credit and shit. They're basically a 
water and maritime oriented fucking branch and they're fucking letting him cheat with little floaty shits. Y'all do this to yourself. Fuck. You know what? Let's clear things up. I'm going to fucking research exactly. So there's nothing wrong here. I'm going to look up exactly what Coast Guard purpose is. Stand by. The United States Coast Guard is the maritime security, search and rescue, and law enforcement service branch of the United States Armed Forces and one of the country's eight uniformed services. Okay. Maritime security. They do great at this. Search and rescue. They do great at this. Law enforcement. Good, but whatever. But y'all are fucking up with this little floaty shit, dude. God damn. Medical exertion. The recruits have undoubtedly worked up an appetite. I think I'm gonna start doing those means definitions in the beginning. Lunch. Makes more sense. Or as it's known at Cape May, Chow. But Chow is damn. What y'all eating? Nothing time special. for relaxation or chatting with your fellow recruits. Jeez. What is it? Ooh. Oh my God, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Y'all ready for this shit? This is gonna be exciting. In fact, it's the complete opposite. What the fuck? Let's go. Move your feet. How about you move a little faster, man? No, no, get out. That's not where you sit. That's not where you sit. You have someone right there telling you where to go. It should be one of Dude, that's the most fucking annoying shit ever. Is when new people come in and they think they can sit wherever the fuck they want. Like, no, we're running a system here. Go where the fuck you're told. But they're like, oh my god, that one person who looked at me nice and I think is my only friend is sitting over there. And there's open seats, so I think I'm going to go sit over there. No. Do what you're fucking told. Sit where you're told to sit. That's really annoying. God damn. One of the most relaxing times they have, you would think, uh, but that is when all eyes are on them. You're not special, and you didn't shave last night like we told you. A Ooh. razor never touched your face. As soon as you get back from medical... Yeah, fucking right. Yeah, right. As soon as you get back? Dude, hell no. Hell no. Once again, I'm not going to say the, the drill instructor's name, but for Army, sorry, once again, we'll, we'll do an Army one, and then I'll fucking talk about Army shit, you know, and my, my basic stuff, but dude... We had an instructor see that someone didn't shave in my platoon. We sat down. I was sitting down for maybe 15, 20 seconds, right? This is maybe like the fourth day. And they saw that our platoon, someone in our platoon hadn't shaved. They sit down. They're like, hey, blank, come here. They looked at me. He's like, everybody get up, get outside. And I was like, what? And then we're about to go pick up our trays. And then they're like, dump all your food. And we're like, there and ensuring that you shave. You probably think that you get a little break from the company commanders, but when you go to your seats, the uh, company commanders are staring you down and they're asking you questions. Tell me about a class Bravo fire. Who was Alex Haley? Tell me about Commodore Berta. Before they can eat, <laughs> recruits are. Dude, he's standing there, he's like, fuck. Dude, that sucks. That's fucking annoying too. You're just trying to eat your food. Ooh, he's got Chili Mac. He's got two Gatorades and apple. Dude, he's got a slice of pie. Y'all lucky. Y'all lucky with that pie. Actually, I know for us, if you were caught like grabbing some of the pie, they leave it there for you to grab. But if you grab it, you get fucked up. Like, oh, you want to be fucking fat? Okay. Okay, got it. But that sucks. They're funny. Asking questions and all that shit. They're randomly stopped by company commanders and tested on required Coast Guard knowledge. Go away, Davis. <laughs> Recruits who answer correctly. She's like, hey, just shut up and get the fuck out of here. I like that. A sense of urgency and everything. Oh. You know, she just yelled at her, but the look on her face is kind of like, oh, now I'm nervous. Now I'm scared. Or like she was upset because she got her feelings hurt. Curious. Thing we do. Sign the company out of the gallery. And it really oh all at the end of the day is there to assist the recruits and keep them sharp. Outside the galley. We're going outside to play some games because of some stuff that you did. If an individual recruit makes a mistake in boot camp, the entire company what the pays fuck? for it. So this is what I don't understand. I don't understand why we're in week zero six. Okay, I was about to get upset and be like, you're gonna fucking go tell them that and not 
tell them what the correction is, but it's, we still have gear drift in our damn squad base. We still can't okay, push in the is. hooks on our freaking racks, our laundry hooks. We're being lazy, Sierra, aren't we? I'm glad you agree. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. When recruits hear their company fire, commanders fire, fire. say fire, 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 what? it often means they're about to get smoked. If we remember from the last video, you know what smoking is. It means you're about to get your shit pushed in, as in, work out. All right, let's see how they do it. Let's see if they can do it better than the Navy. Oh, she took him outside. She took him outside. She's like, grab your rifles, grab your shit. We're going outside. It's nice and cold. Let's go. Oh my God. Lose the fucking whistle. Holy shit. <laughs> the smoke oh sessions, if you will, are the physical exertion of energy to reinstill to them that what they were doing was not the correct thing. Okay. Before y'all talk shit, holding these rifles out in front of you and doing the fucking this shit is so fucking exhausting. You have no idea unless you've fucking done it. They're like, oh, that's easy. That's not even hard. Bro, try doing overhand, do, try doing fucking 500 overhead arm claps, which is just this. One, two, three, four. I promise by the time you get to 300, you're going to be like, oh, oh. Now imagine doing that with actual weight, doing it with the rifle above your head, fucking holding out in front of you with one arm and then switching. Bro, you're just going to be gassed. You're going to be fucking gassed by the end of this shit. Stop anticipating my command. Stop. We'll just keep playing this game until you get louder. Straight out in front of you. I was walking through their squad bays. Their racks weren't made properly. Just little minute attention to detail things that they should know as week zero six recruits. And so they oh, got for it. that's that instructor. I was like, oh, it looks like she got her feelings hurt. Badass. OK. All right. Getting smoked is it's rough. It's hard to push through sometimes. But at the end of it, you're, you feel better because. Get the London look. You, you made it through. You feel like it makes you stronger. Get on the deck! Oh! Yo, look at his shoes. Them hoes clean. Oh my god. Oh, oh did we just now? Do we need to start over? <laughs> that is the worst. Or they're like, oh, okay, we don't like counting? Let's start over. And you're like, no, God, please, no. <laughs> One good push-up. Usually in this week of training, we don't really discipline them as much, but we still have to uphold standards. And if they're not meeting those standards, then that's when we use these tools. We have use we these tools. Enough? Cry. <laughs> Tears. We need to be just as tough as the Marines, the Army, the Air Force. And you need to be just as tough as what? Here, well, hold on. Let me... The Navy. My headphones cut out for a second. We need to Pay be attention. just as tough as the Marines, the Army. The Shit. Listen, 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 listen very closely. We need to be just as tough as the Marines, the Army, the Air Force, and the Navy. So we have to also be held up to that standard. As well. I have nothing else to say. Minute two six probation on the quarter deck. Recruits who don't meet the standards of their company commanders are put on belts. probation, which is signified by wearing a red belt. Are you even using your brain press? You get put on probation um, when you're like falling behind the company, you have like an attitude problem. You wear a red belt that says, I need special attention, I need extra help, I need you to put the spotlight on me for a couple days. Damn. Damn, that kind of fucks you for everybody. Like everybody. Like, not, not just for your platoon and your instructors, but like all of them, because then they're all going to fuck with you. And for us, for a second, I was like, why do they need the belt? Like, the, your instructors are not going to fucking forget. But that means all the other instructors are fucking with you, too. So, I like this. They're definitely getting after it. Ramp, ramp, ramp. Recruits in need of even more motivation enter a program known as RAMP, which stands for Recruit Attitude Motivational Program. Recruits in RAMP are required to wear a red vest. RAMP is a program we have in place for the recruits who don't seem to grasp the basic fundamentals of getting on board and aligning themselves with the Coast Guard core values. Okay. It gives them a chance to step back. 
Some fucking stump the yard shit right there. Realize the bigger picture and that it means more than just the individuality in which brought the recruits to the training center. It's how they operate as a team and as a cohesive unit. When we filmed this, these recruits were completely unsupervised and weren't being ordered by their company commanders. Okay, that's great. I respect that. You know, a little bit of discipline sneaking in. They do that out of fear, though. They're not doing it out of, like, respect or anything like that. They're like, God, can you imagine the fuckery that will unfold if we're not fucking marching in place right now when they come back? Dude, that shit would last all day. You might even get written up and, you know, get, like, a check mark and possibly, you know, counseled and kicked out of the Coast Guard. I don't know. If you do know, let me know, because I'm curious. I've never heard of that ram or ramp, whatever the fuck it's called. Wettler, get over here, Wettler. I don't understand why the hell everyone is counting for you. And then you cross that threshold when I can see you, and you start doing the right thing. I do not know how to count. That's why I did not join the Air Force. Say it, you. Say it to you. Louder. 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 Dude, look at his face. Shut your mouth. So take it. Why you think it's okay to oh, do whatever the hell you want, and then someone sees you, and then oop, wake up, time for me to start doing the right thing. It's not good to go. go. Not good to go. Get upright. Fly away from me. Sprout wings. Oh, oh, you see her look? She's in addition to undergoing intense physical and psychological challenges, <laughs> the recruits actually spend the bulk of their time in the classroom. The Coast Guard basic training is fire school instructor. Okay, so I'm assuming this is the same type of shit as the Navy. They're all firefighters. Um, some of y'all sent me videos of like Navy firefighter stuff. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, I did see it. And, you know, uh, the Navy definitely has uh, some good shit on there. Do I think they're like hardcore firefighters? Absolutely fucking not. But do they have a great idea of what to do in case a fire breaks out or something like that? Yeah, they got a decent idea. So I'm assuming it's the same thing with Coast Guard because they're based off of, you know, ships and vessels and stuff like that. Heavy in academics. It's almost, we use the term sometimes that it's like drinking information through a fire hose. Recruits are trained to fight fires. This so-called wet room is used to oh, simulate God. a fire on a Coast Guard cutter. All right. Giving the recruits a realistic firefighting scenario. Honestly, this shit's probably fun. And for some of you who are in the Coast Guard that are watching, you know, I understand y'all probably got fucked up before this dog shit smoked out of you while wearing all of your equipment. I would expect nothing less. But I'm sure this is fun. I promise you it's a lot more fun than anything I got to do when I was in basic. The recruits are Sheesh. trained in marksmanship and seamanship. We're going to practice on our knots right now, so everybody get your landers out really oh quick. Oh, my God. Uh, someone tell me why knots is, like, one of the hardest things to learn in the military. All branches have to know knots depending on the schools you go to, too, or, like, what your job is. But holy fuck. The people who fail knots, it's insane. You know where I found out a lot of people fail knots? Is fucking jungle warfare. Like, dude, holy shit. Pay the fuck attention. While filming in this class, Come up through. one recruit gestured towards our camera. An officer spotted this. Dumb fuck. I can't wait to see this. I hope he gets... He's about to get his shit pushed in Navy style. And while the recruit was privately reprimanded for the offense, the entire company would have to pay the price. Hey. Sucks, but I believe in it. If people want to act like actual crazy people all day at seamanship, I got a tool for that. Two zero zero seconds back online with a full canteen. Go. Smoke session by the fucking star. Fly, fly, fly. Little blue blurs. Little blue blurs. Little poop, little poop, little poop. Little Here's open. Feet shoulder width apart right now. Open. Sit on the wall. Get your canteens above your skulls. Open. Okay. Fingers interlaced, cap facing the overhead. Open. You people have absolutely no self-discipline. <laughs> These water bottles are very heavy. 
You will hold them above your head. <laughs> Yo! Those are the fucking Space Force canteens! Slash water bottles! They're fucking water bottles, dude. They're not canteens. Oh my god. You know what? Maybe it's just Army and Marine Corps who get fucked with the Vietnam fucking OD green shit canteens with like... Who knows what the fuck is in there? Basically just black mold that you get to drink, but... Oh my god! Absolutely no self-discipline. So you're just gonna remind yourself. We have no self-discipline. Go! We have no self-discipline! We have no self-discipline! We have no self Dude, that's a fucking water bottle. Please tell me there's more to this. That's like me holding up my, my phone right here. They're like, hold your phone above your head. And I'm like, what, am I going to struggle holding this above my head? I'm going to be like, Poof. Ooh. Ooh. it's not going to get any heavier. I promise. You got to throw some motion in there. Gang your biceps to your ass. Gang your biceps to your Oh, my ear. God. Shut the fuck up. The yelling's probably more exhausting than holding that fucking water bottle above your head. There's no way that's... Yo, I could fucking do that for four days, dude. This shit... Hey, Lindsay, you taking a nice little break now that I turned my back? Ooh. Hey, let's add a few Ooh. minutes for that there, Victor. Thank you, shipmate. Thank you. We have no self-discipline. I'm trying to catch a break. You might think uh, a small water bottle with water in it. Is I'm going to cut them off before they start saying dumb shit and just figure out what I have to say before I end up getting pissed off. Water bottle's going to be really fucking heavy after fucking seven minutes, I promise. No. Um, regarding back to the person taking the break, that's so funny because, like, literally in basic, the second the instructors start to turn their back to you, everybody takes a break. You can be doing a push up and everyone goes, Ugh. and then they turn around and you're like, hm. and then, like, you go back up and it's like, dude, they're going to see it. They're going to know. And the funny part is, the instructors literally know that that's fucking happening. They know you're trying to cheat them when you look away. So, this is literally what they do. They'll, like, go and look the other direction and then they'll turn back hella fast, like this. This <laughs> should be quick as fuck, boy. It wasn't that heavy, but after 20 minutes, your shoulders kind of get a little heavy. And uh, once the sweat starts dripping in your eyes, you want to definitely put it down. But let me advise you, do not put it down because you will be holding the water bottle up for a longer period of time. Taking a nice little break, Yelton. Oh, my God. Taking a nice little break, Yelton. We have no self-discipline. That, that is not productive. You taking a nice little rest there with your hands, Van Brunt? Crazy how fingers... Dude, the dude on the, her right is, like, totally fine. He's like... This, this is the easiest shit we've done all day. Start over! <laughs> Just almost Come on, cold dog. Pain. Come on now. Because you're out of breath from screaming so loud, your shoulders are burning. It's a huge relief. Definitely lose your when fucking breath for sure. You get told to put your arms down. You want to make a deal, Victor? Ears. Open. Ears. Open. Drop the canteens. Dropping the canteens is probably worse than the whole workout. Like, after doing that, your arm's probably totally fine, but then when you bring it down, you're probably like, that didn't, that, that didn't feel very good. Oh. Before graduation, recruits receive their orders for where they'll be... Before graduation, what the fuck have we done other than put water bottles above our head and jump off of a little ramp into a pool and, like, spray a fucking fake TV with a hose? Okay. The beginning Coast Guard was great. The rest of the video stationed after they leave Cape May. Davis, where'd you want to go, Davis? Let's go. Davis! Go, Davis! I want to go to Puerto Rico! You're going all the way across to Hawaii. 
The oh, exact man. opposite area. Will, will that work for you, David? Is that good enough? Yes, David! <laughs> right. You can't get Puerto Rico. You got Hawaii. That's, That's literally the worst. For anybody who's like, oh, I want to get stationed in Hawaii. No, the fuck you don't. You know what I'm talking about. Spread the knowledge down in the comments. You don't want to get stationed in Hawaii. Pretty good, right? Yes, J-Rod! Hawaii! Where'd you want to go? J-Rod! Duke of Pleasure! Anywhere warm! Recruits can request the Anywhere region warm. or district where they prefer to be stationed after graduation. Where'd you want to go? Hey, that's Greenwell! Duke of Parker! On any Coast Guard Carter! That is so crazy that they actually get to request where they want to go. I mean, props to them, you know, they passed basic and they get that great opportunity. Hey, uh, if you want that, join the Coast Guard because um, pretty much all the other branches, you definitely do not fucking get that option. So that's the like. Or Ortiz, you're going to Louisiana. I was like, fuck! Yo. David, David California! Hey, Kelly, you're, hey. You're going to Alabama. Oh! Alabama! That's rough. On the Friday of week eight, the recruits are ready for graduation. They feel joy and accomplishment. They know that they have done something that is physically and emotionally challenging. They feel satisfied that they've done that. Killer. The face of a killer. Yo, she's hardcore. Hey, she's seen it. What the fuck am I saying again, bro? Do I have a fucking speech problem? She has seen shit. I'm gonna just keep finishing this. We're almost done. Their parents are impressed because many times the parents see them for the first time as an adult, as an accomplished adult. Yo, I'm kind of noticing this right now. None of these dudes look, like, tiny. None of them. Like, I know in the, in the video, like, I think, you know, there's, like, some smaller girls and stuff like that, but the dudes be looking fucking big as fuck. Like, there's some Army dudes and Marine Corps dudes who, like, you see, and they're just, like, tiny. Super small. These dudes be looking buff. People probably walk in, like, oh, are you in the Army? Marine Corps? They're like, I'm in the Coast Guard. Yeah. Sexton Hall. Boot Sex camp is just beginning for Whiskey Company. That's the group we first met at the Philadelphia airport. I just wrote back! Before the company is officially formed, they're addressed by Captain Owen Gibbons. I can make you the following three promises. Promise number one, this will be hard. Do not be afraid of that. Change is difficult. But if you give us your all, we will prove to you that you can do more than you ever thought yourself capable of. I like this a lot. Everybody watching, whether you're in or not, you should listen to what he's saying right now because this shit's on point. Promise number two, I insist that you meet every single standard of this program in order to graduate, but we will assist you to meet those standards. Do you understand? Yes, sir! That assistance will not always be comforting, but it will develop in you the knowledge, skills, and abilities, okay. the attitudes that you will need to leave here and immediately begin performing frontline Coast Guard missions in service to the American public. Do you understand that? Yes, sir! Promise number three. Okay. All right. I'm on track with this. Still agree with everything. I, I do not detect any lies. You will be safe. Let me say that again. You will be safe. You'll train in an environment that is free from intimidation or discrimination based on your race, creed, color, gender, religion, or orientation. You will not be assaulted, and you will not be harassed. Do you understand that? Yes, sir! You can do this. Every single person in this room is capable of completing this program. The truth is that we need you to do this. We don't need you to do this. But are you 100% capable of doing all of this shit? 100 fucking percent. But you gotta dig, and it's not gonna be given to you. But the only question on our mind is, are you ready? Yes, sir! Yes! We're just about to find out. I'm ready! <laughs> oh my god, sexy hall. Get your fucking ass over here! Hurry the fuck up! You think just because you're graduating you're the shit? Oh, that's it! Wow, that was it. Alright, you know what? Short and sweet. Didn't really see a whole lot of like the actual training and stuff like that. 
but uh, I like the beginning. It, like I really like the beginning, but then I got I kind of got lost in the sauce halfway through. We may have to redo this. If y'all find a better fucking Coast Guard boot camp video, send it to me. And in the future, after we do all the other branches, we might end up redoing this one because it didn't show us a whole lot and definitely want to give Coast Guard the credit they do deserve. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what other kind of videos everybody wants to see and we'll try and get to them. Uh, once again, it doesn't have to be military shit, but I know that's kind of like the community we are right now and a lot, what a lot of you are interested in, but it could quite honestly be anything. But uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by.